We told you yesterday there is an unknown predator preying on cats in Calgary. Dozens have been found dead this summer. Today, we may have an idea who or what is targeting the house pets in the southwest. Ina Sadu is live in Haysboro, and Ina, some unwanted residents have moved in. Tara, a family of at least four bobcats has gotten quite comfortable here. They've been spotted for the past two weeks. Now, even though it's not 100% clear if they are behind any of the cat deaths over the summer, they do have everyone here talking. Pam Darwin is scared to let her 10-year-old beagle, Emma, outside alone. These photos are from across the street. New residents have moved in, and they haven't been friendly to everyone. I heard a hiss, figured my dog had found a cat, wanted to go break it up, and my dog and this bobcat were at a face-off. That was on Saturday. Emma wasn't injured, but there was another close call Tuesday. Every time I come outside with my dog, she tends to show up. Alberta Fish and Wildlife says it is common to see bobcats in parts of Calgary. They're not considered a public safety concern. There have been no reports of a bobcat going after someone or being aggressive. And it's rare for them to attack pets unless they're chased or threatened. But it is important to take precautions. So this is where we saw them sleeping. Justin Snaith says while the animals have been peaceful around him, he can understand why some people with pets are worried. Back here along the alley is where someone saw a dead cat. 100 dead cats have been found around Calgary this summer. Snaith says his neighbor's cat was also found injured and they believe a bobcat could be to blame. Their cat's been in a number of fights with other cats, but they said this worst that it's ever been. Alberta Fish and Wildlife is urging people to keep their animals inside. I did not feel threatened. My dog didn't even care about them. While some owners aren't phased by the visitors, it seems the big cats have a bone to pick with other dogs. For now, Emma is staying somewhere else. At this point, we don't know what we're going to do because I knew my, my dog is my life. She's my baby. Alberta Fish and Wildlife says the reason that bobcats would be in a residential area is because they're finding food. Bobcats mainly prey on squirrels and rabbits, so it's a good idea to make sure that you have nothing in your yard that would att attract those animals. And if you have a dog or a cat, it's a good idea to feed them inside and keep them inside. Now, of course, especially since it's not actually 100% clear what is killing those cats that we have seen dying this summer. Now, we do have more tips on our website and Tara, anyone with concerns can call the Calgary chapter of Alberta Fish and Wildlife. Tara. All right, Ina, thank you.